happy Saturday to you. I am creating some note cards for uh, Halloween. Um, I have 13 trick-or-treat bags, and I wanted to accompany them with a card. So I thought I'd make some quick note cards, and then I thought, oh, let's make them into shakers. So there I took off. So this is a paper pad that I found in my box. It's a uh, Happy Halloween by Recollections, probably from last year, if not the year before. Uh, 2020 is when it came out. And it has two pages of cut aparts. I've used both of them, but it's double-sided, which is great. And I like this here. I want to, um, I'm, I'm going to see if I, when I'm out and about today, if I can find me a little frame. I think that would be cute to hang on my cubicle wall. There's several of them that are, um, that can be framed, like that can be framed. And maybe some pictures, two pictures, uh, maybe of you and your child dressed up Halloween. And then that one is a cute one too. So what I've done is I've taken my uh, cut apart downstairs to the sewing machine and I'm using the acetate that I picked up recently from Spellbinders and I cut, the cut aparts are four by four. I cut my acetate four and a half by four and a half. I just took it downstairs, held it tight and then sewed it around. I sewed it um, like the L shape and then I stuffed it with some um, sequins that I Put together and then I continued to uh, close it up and I was pressing hard on it to get the air out so that it would be shakable and it is so now this is um, and then when I bought it up I had to trim all the extra acetate away so now it's a four by four still a four by four and I cut out some cardstock in yellow and purple because there's a lot of orange um, on the uh, cards. So I'm going to, um, I have one here that's ready for to be taped down. So I'm just going to um, get this down on this piece of paper. The paper is four and one eighth by four and one eighth. So I just wanted a very small border, not nothing uh, big, just a hint of yellow to show. Hopefully I can lay this down right. Okay. Now let's get my little, my little squeezy thing here. And then the card base is four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and it opens like that, right? So we're going to put that right on there. And the same thing, a very small white border will show. So let's get some of the sun is shining through. Glory, hallelujah. I love it when the sun shines here in Seattle because it doesn't all the time. <laughs> so you have to be grateful when she's out and acknowledge her and thank her for coming out. So let's get some of my Elizabeth Craft Designs tape. And um, I don't know no other way. People say you can rip it, but it doesn't rip well. So we're going to put this down. Oh, that's almost perfect. And then we'll just use some wet glue for the outer edge. I filled my bottle up this morning. I filled up all my bottles because they were kind of low. And I had to shake them to get them to come down, and that's not cool. So let's pull the tape up now. I am like in Halloween mode. I'm going to keep going as long as I can for another two weeks before I start my uh, fall cards for um, those Thanksgiving cards and those Thanksgiving projects. So let's go ahead and lay this down. Like I said, a very small border edge of white. Okay, and do the same thing. And then I thought I would use these feet as my um, signature on the back. I think that kind of is a different look. <gasps> oh, okay. thought I messed up here. Okay, always check your cards, position of your cards, because it just takes one slip up. So... We'll lay her down like this. 
There we go. And then um, I'll be putting my signature across there. And then on the inside, I have a sticker sheet from Halloween Town. And it has lots of cut aparts, right? I could have used those, but I still can. But I'm going to use the sticker sheet and put some little characters on the inside. So let's pull this sheet out. Okay, so for now, I am liking uh, the witch. So we're going to pull her out and hopefully she's not too tall for the card. Now, my happy Halloween is too long. Well, kind of, sort of. Let's see. I haven't inked it yet. Let's see. We're going to try. Let's ink her up here. I bought my, whatchamacallit, out because that usually helps me when I have to make things even. Otherwise, I go crooked all the time. So, I'm going to try to line this card up like this. And then I'm gonna put my whatchamacallit like this. And I know I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. There's no desk big enough, is it? Okay, so we're gonna cross our fingers and stamp it down and hopefully it's straight. There we go. Right? And then I can just say whatever I need to say. So, really cute. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and make another one. Um, that was back. Let's make this one here. This was another one of the um, cut aparts. And I think I have some tape here. So, let's just cut that off. There we go. Um, let's use purple for this one. My daughter has to go get her eyebrows done. I need to run to Home Depot and get a plunger and a broom. So I thought, well, let me get this video up first. And then, so what is it, nine o'clock? And then um, I can go with her. It doesn't take long for her to get her eyebrows done. And then we could just have the car out once today and then get ourselves back in here. But it is beautiful out there. So, okay, same thing here. I just want to put a little border edge. Perfect. So glad the weekend is here. It's been a rough week at work, I tell you. Just nonstop, no breaks. Okay, so now we're going to put some tape on this and get it down on the card. So I don't quite know when I'm going to be passing out these trick-or-treat bags. We have a campaign going on at work right now for our workplace giving, and every week someone is bringing in treats for... Uh, to put on the table, but um, these are not for the entire uh, department. There's a hundred and something people in the department, so these are just for the um, chosen 13. <laughs> and I think I'm going to mail two of them. So, okay, let's make sure our card is right. Okay, turn this over. Ooh, get it right. Oh, that's pretty big. I didn't cut that one back. Did I not cut them back? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me really quick. Well, this one may be cut back because I had to resize them. So those two aren't. So I hope this one is correct. Good enough. 
So the acetate I'm liking, again, it is by Spellbinders. They had a sale recently, so this is the clear 8.5 by 11 sheets that say they are ideal to create shakers. So I could have used the foam, but I wasn't in the mood for the foam. These are quick cards uh, that I wanted to create. Uh, where's my feet? I stamp the feet. This is an old stamp from Craft Smart at Michael's. I was trying to um, sell a lot of the wooden stamps and um, they just weren't successful, so I still have them. So today I'm glad I do. Okay, so now we're going to get our, where's she at? Our happy birthday, happy Halloween stamp again. And I think I'm going to say um, the boo. So, um, nope, not feeling boo. Let's put him. Okay, let's use the skeleton. That'll be cute. Put him right here in the corner. Put the Halloween. Let's line her up. With the whatchamacallit, the best thing ever created. For people who can't do straight lines, let's go up some further. Okay, cross your fingers. Ta-da! And there we go. And it's crooked. <laughs> I tell you, I cannot do a straight line to save my life. Okay, one more, you guys. I think you got the gist of it. Again, this is um, Cut Aparts from the uh, Happy Halloween by Recollections. Okay, so this one, let's use um, purple. Two. Yes. So let's make sure that's lined up good. Okay, let's pull this tape off. Like I said, this is just four, and I was making more downstairs, and my bobbin ran out. So I'm like, oh, great. Don't you hate that? I should have, like, bobbins on the ready. One day I said I was going to, um, when, I, when I'm at home doing nothing, I'm just going to create a slew of bobbin colors so that I have them on the ready. And now I have to go down, take the uh, white uh, thread out, Create the bobbin. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay, let's turn that over this way. And um, let's get her on here. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, my thumbnails have changed. My daughter has finally shown me how to use Canva. I'm so behind the times. But that kind of stuff I always said I wanted to do when I retire, but that's a ways from now. So so she showed me how to do it. So I try to take a picture of what I've created and make the thumbnail instead of using one that YouTube comes up with because it's always cattywonkus. Okay, so I'm going to bring my trimmer out because these two, they are not sized. So the size of the card is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we want to make sure. Okay, that one is good. And then this one, put it at four and a quarter. That's good, but then it's not on this side. There we go. Okay. Okay. Where are we at? I think we put the back on this, put the tape on this. These are these go really quick once you have the your system, right? You know what you're going to stamp on it. You know what you're going to um, put on the inside. Uh, they just need envelopes. And, of course, I'm going to have to make envelopes because of the size of the card, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I don't think I have pre-made envelopes that size. But I do have some um, older Halloween paper that I need to use up. So that's what I will um, be using to make the envelopes. Okay, let's get this off. And a little on 
this side. It's really coming out. I filled it up and it is like pouring out. Okay, let's make sure we got this the right direction. Okay. Oh, it's so sticky. Thank you, Elizabeth Art. Elizabeth, what's her name? Elizabeth Craft Designs. Okay, perfect, perfect. Who doesn't like getting a Halloween card? I love cards. And you know, it's funny because there's a um, co-worker. She has pulled out all her stuff I have made for her for the last three years. She has the candy poppers, <laughs> all the cards, all the, you name it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, throw that stuff away. I go, the candy popper still has the chocolates in them. They're probably no good. But um, it's sweet to see that they keep the stuff to use it to decorate their desk with. So um, hopefully she'll get rid of some stuff and um, be ready for the stuff that I'm going to give her. Okay, so our last one, let's do um, this little square head character. And let's put him in this corner. And then one more chance, one more try with this stamping straight on. Okay, let's get the card lined up. Let's bring over the whatchamacallit. Make sure it's lined up. Okay. Okay, that's not in the middle. Okay, we're gonna go for it right there. Okay, we take the whatchamacallit away and we cross our fingers. Okay. Mm, not bad. I guess after three of them, you finally get the hang of it. So, you guys, there we go. Some really cute Halloween note cards for your friends, your coworkers, your family. Just to send a little note to let folks know, thinking about you. And um, I hope you tried these. Very, very simple. The cut apart was four inches. The background paper was four and an eighth. And the card was four and a quarter. So get out some of that Halloween paper from three years ago and let's use it up and create some cute fun shaker cards. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.